So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Yosas 4. We're of course going with the Amana Fancy mod as Mulan. And the trading birds are now a little bit more actually trading than usual. Which is quite nice. We're also putting our effort into uh, getting at these uh, nice hanging cities around now, which is actually the one, the special thing about us. You might not know that, that I've ignored it, because I've ignored it for too long. Or l let's not say ignored. I mean, if it's a fucking waiting for tolerance to come around, that can't be blamed on me. I think I've picked the right uh, uh, decision every time when it came to tolerance. For the dwarves, that is. So there's that. I, I, um, I am completely innocent of these crimes. So, running around here hurts a bit. We've already lost a decent chunk of uh, manpower. Yeah, I guess it's mainly just the sieges. Of course. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> We're also going to now start like building uh, forts everywhere in every all the mountains so we, we can have more hanging cities. As soon as we have the hanging city in the capital that is. Which is of course checkered to sheer luck. As it always is. Yeah, 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 just wait a second. I'm gonna come around soon. Oh, you're gonna run here, lovely. Uh, you guys come running over here. Then again. <laughs> Alright, the Kedalata will join the coalition against me. Good for them. Yeah, all of the small guys join, and that is just like the indicator that the big guys are also gonna join. So. These guys are all not part of this war. Bukakin and these guys. Have you been uh, you've been nearly pushed out? Independence guaranteed by the Veria? Excuse me? You have more than hundred development. Where else do you have development? Oh all the way over here. I see. Uh, you guys are getting beaten up. Funny, not gonna lie. I think it's time that we also, of course, throw out some other guys, right? Okay, you can't get here, you also can't get here. Oh, because there's a fort in the way. I understand now. Understand though. So. But now we have a bunch of dudes. Uh, you guys just, yeah, whatever. You guys are on your way. La, La Fierda gets it. I would like to be able to do more than one, <laughs> that one, I feel like. <laughs> but I can't uh, change anything about it at the moment. Uh, you guys, of course, go here. And uh, you guys are technically a target of conquest because you have stuff that I want. Is this? This is also part of it. Okay. Oh, everything is part of it at this point. I feel like we need to just occupy everything before we can really make any decisions here. Okay. There is some of them. I mean, these guys, for example, we can get out. Right, we have done Bulvardi, lovely. Still all ahead of time. Still all ahead here, yep. Nothing to do here. Points to spare. Fantastic. <laughs> right, I'm gonna send someone here if you guys don't do that for me. Okay, you are doing it for me. Lovely. I mean, we don't have the quite idea if these guys are even strong. Oh wait, you're not part of this war. Oh, sorry. I thought for a second you are. So we can't just piece out the other guys. Then. We want this coastline, we want to get at least something here freed. That's that's the one thing. So we can actually get this one done. The owner needs to be allied to me, he needs to be knowledge. Or I just own it. That's also an option. I feel like owning it is gonna probably be more uh, likely. Oh, that's not something that we want. Oh, but you want that. Okay. Do we have anyone around? We technically have this guy or this guy. Yeah, I don't think that we're gonna win that fight. Do we have a boost? Oh, no. Well, let's get hurt. 
Oh well, it's actually it's actually really close. They have more discipline, but we uh, but that's about it. Yeah, we're not gonna win that, but we at least delayed that well enough. Uh, do we want siege effort? I mean, it makes sense. Makes a bunch of sense. You've lost some dudes on that process. Uh, you guys technically... Oh, no, but if, if I piece you out, you're gonna... All black flag. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this, this, this event we know. Right over here. Oh no, do we know that? I guess we don't quite know it. The pirate Akal did not inspire fear in Lucian Carter. Indeed, the inspiration seemed to have gone the other way. After a brief conversation in public, the pirate Akal pulled him into a smaller room. An hour or so later, he ordered a few of the strange objects captured with the ship brought in. And after two hours with a demonstration of small object, which shone piercing, directed light, Lucian Carter had been announced as her new chief advisor. But the trollers are not greedy like the Brasani, no. What one family member owns, every family member, my family member, family member owns. And so Lucian Carter soon found himself passed from cousin to cousin, sister to aunt, mother to daughter, and to each, teaching the use of common basic arithmetic, the use of various small inventions. All intermixed, of course, with lessons about a new god, the only god of whom Sorrel and all the others who perished long ago are merely a fragment. A chained god, a betrayed god, now released to guide us all. Lucian Carter has, to be, has proven to be a popular man in the Drollers Peninsula, and even to received le leave to invite some comrades from Unbincos to join him. New schools and hospitals have been built under his direction, with the funds from uh, r uh, ransoming his crew having paid for the first. His teachings have proven popular amongst the Trollers, long a backwater of Bulva, and the region has flourished under rebellion, one god after being seemingly all but ignored by Surreal. Rebellionism has landed in Bulva, where it goes next, only Surreal, or perhaps the fragment knows. So we could do something absolutely stupid, which I hate. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I still think that Revelionism is, uh, is probably the stupidest thing in this mod, <laughs> so I will do everything in my power to get rid of it. <laughs> Alright, but we have more stuff to siege, right? Uh, we also can de siege these guys down. Lovely. Now it's just time to occupy more provinces. The ally is gonna probably get ripped apart. To Kiti, we can also piece out. You have some numbers, so... Let me just quickly all cancel the alliances with uh, your friends here. So that there's conflict brewing. Or the conflict stays brewing, let's raise it like that. Okay, you guys are locked in here, lovely. You guys can also be out. We just need to get some more stuff done. I assume that you didn't want to fight me here. So, there are the armies. Let's reinforce that. Let's reinforce it with everything we have. I think this fight is won anyway. Okay, I, gu I guess they expected more reinforcement, probably. It look at least it looks like it. Ah, oh god, but this is not gonna be an easy fight. Uh, we cannot peace... who are you? Okay, you are not going to be out of this, right? No. So, a quick ouch will happen. Where are you re retreating to? This? Is it like a really bloody... F well, actually, it wasn't that bad. Okay, my army slowly but surely actually do something. That's always a good sign. Uh, you guys, we don't want anything from you. Stop being allowed to this Oh, you don't want that yet. Okay, I guess I can wait. Uh, points. Yep, still not on this yet. We are out of manpower. When the f when the fuck did that happen? Okay, good to know. I didn't realize that. I guess the attrition did more than I expected. So... Uh, at this point, we could just kind of want to get... Uh, like, this guy's gonna get pieced out, right? I would be surprised if not. So... 
Let's just occupy some more. Again? Are we gonna are we gonna do this again? Okay. Oh, that happened. Uh, you are just gonna quickly do this. Granite separatists. That's something that we can. Wait, how often are you guys rebe rebelling here? That's silly. Okay, they immediately reconsider that after I've actually got you guys together. So, let me just quickly kill some stuff here. This is silly. Anyway. You guys doing that. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess these harpies got beaten up. Oh, and you are one of the, you're one of the harpies that got uh, beaten up quite well. Okay. Uh, let me just quickly go over here. Get Mesera, you won't be out with this. I also want money from you. Good. Kixan, which one are you? Ah, oh, the blue one. Blue Power Ranger. Uh, we don't want this. We want this. We're here for money and money alone. Uh, you can stop, technically. So, and then we just have these dudes. Uh, you come back here. You're actually not sad yet? I mean, you're 47, but you're not sad. That's a problem. I guess you all have this occupation as well. You guys are dealing with that one now. You guys can go home, technically. We don't need to have everyone standing down here. Let's have another army over here, just in case. I mean, you still have an army here, so there's that. Okay, you're on medium, that should be enough. Give me your money. So, that's 99%. Let's see about our claims. Because... Claims are claims. Wait. Oh no, this is not, an, uh, not a thingy. And then this stuff. It's a bit awkward, but that's just how it works. That will add these guys down here into the uh, uh, funny mix. Now! I didn't... Uh, wait, these are, this, this is the one that I wanted, right? Yeah, okay, we need to do it differently then. Uh, we need this province here, this one. Does this add anyone else? It does add a few more, but nothing crazy. I'm also willing to do this. And actually, a bit, li little bit less. This. So. Do we need this as a core, is the question now? Um, either way, we are gonna do this first. Lovely. Uh, this come al also comes around. Oh no, wait, this is a roost. That's something else. Owned, and we need 10k manpower. Okay, so technically we don't need to core it, but... Uh, there you go. Uh, everybody home. So you made it home. You're running here, you're running here. I feel like we do need to get some of this stuff just so that we have all, everything occupied. Or at least uh, everything in order. Let me also just quickly check this. This is ahead of time. Alright, uh, Diplo, we know what we're doing. Where are we getting somewhere? Even if it's slow. Fast alert region. Sure. Also roost. We're gonna build fucking forts everywhere here. Oh, there we go. Artificers, of course. Uh, Artificers, you know what to do. You are uh, not allowed to annoy me. Do we? Go are we gonna do... Wait. How much do we have? We have 10. I guess we... I'm gonna start a little bit. Why not? Alright. Now we just need to wait and then we'll see what we do with these guys. Still waiting for the trade income to... Uh, Take over. <laughs> We're getting there. there we go. Foundations. Serious way also a roost? Yeah. 
We go some rebels. The wars of consolidation have ended. The guys are having fun. We have still some black flags running around. Oh, we have another army. Come around here. And I guess we're just gonna take some of this random slender stuff. And now we need to wait for our numbers to go back. Also, something as well. Protect raids. Plus is three point something. The Gulf of Rahem. Let's go. You guys are getting eaten by rebels. We're missing 40,000 men. <laughs> I see. Alright. Uh, let's continue with this stuff. And then I guess we're just gonna do deving. I mean, we're not completely crazy yet on the uh, income side, right? We're, we're good, but we're not crazy. We have not Eclipse to command, have we? We have. Okay, this is a, this is a weak ass command. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> to this amount all rights. I like my stability. How it is? Oh right. Uh, also, I, I guess we keep getting improved relation guys. So. Do we go for level 3 advisors? Uh, level 5 advisors. Uh, I mean, I still have a decent outlet for all of the money. And I'm currently not really struggling with points. Of course, these provinces need to get pushed to 25 thingy, but overall, I think I'm alright. I assume it'd be better, yeah, table reputation, stuff like that. I want Merkelism. Give me mechanism. I think it's, I think it's also doing a decent job. Male population. Keep it rolling. Gods, that is uh, that is once again taking. Like, how much more? Uh, is that a lot of conquest? We assume that we are going to do a lot of conquest anyway. Uh, what am I saving this money up for? <laughs> it's a reflex. I'm I'm a reduction kind of guy. <laughs> right, Besantis. Let's quickly take care of you. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. There would be the next idea group. What would, did we need to wait here for again? Oh, right, the 10k manpower. Oh, and this all immediately all kind of fixes itself. Just you wait until everything is done. We're gonna we're gonna look splendid. Hopefully, clearly, obviously. Da 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 da. Oh, Serpent's Rod is also happening. We still don't see that. Cool, right? Do I need to steal maps from my own fucking vessel to get this, or what? <laughs> because slowly but surely it feels like it. The, the blue boys are trying desperately to get me down. Nope, still not. <laughs> one fine day, one fine day we'll have it. Uh, this one is actually the one that I least care about. Because this might turn into a vessel. Okay. We do have the connection now here, technically. Hmm. I think some of these, yeah. You, you, and then we just have the one in Trekkit. Oh, we actually, this, these, these ones are actually all alright. It's just, uh, okay. It's just this one. That's a bit silly. Alright. 
All right, we're getting we're getting somewhere. Sure, we have dudes here. Only five k manpower lost. Barely anything. Uh, so now. <laughs> Build the marketplaces. I mean, I can't really extend it that far, can I? You guys are just uh, taking over this little island, finally. I mean, the, f the more c control we get over here, the better. But I don't think there's much more that we can do. We could... We could conquer these provinces. That's an option as always. But I currently have uh, the manpower situation, rather. <laughs> okay. I just, yeah, I just like it. Constantly like, oh, the daughter's plotting something. Is he? Maybe. <laughs> we, we don't know. Oh, be careful. <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a while for another leader. I mean, wh what else am I gonna really do here, right? I mean, I, ca I guess I could build a manpower building. This is now kind of done and I don't want to do anything else. So I'll just do this stuff. We do still need to def up the, uh, these two to somewhere. I guess it's also time that we put a uh, 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 universities down. I feel it feels like uh, the right decision. We need to put attention to this kind of stuff. All right. There we go. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> so, I mean, she reached 70. That's not bad. We're now getting a lot less points, s sadly enough. How are we looking here? Ah, we are 1% more than last time. I'm already, I'm already winning. I already feel the winning. <laughs> hey, material gains. From our explorers and from our merchant contacts, we have learned of the field stalker knolls that lie to the south of Makedi. Unlike the demon worshipping preference that we are familiar with, these knolls of Haragtseda worship of a goddess of rebirth, recycling, and reforging. Their scrap markets put on the display their skills as cunning merchants and skillful tinkerers. The sum of their trades make these knolls potentially valuable trading partners, but to be on the firm firmest footing for initial deals, we must play the skills we have to offer. Beneath Gwan Grak, the gnolls have uncovered an ancient palace complex that remains only partially excavated. We shall send goblin digging teams to assist in exhuming more chambers to demonstrate our goodwill. After that, it will be easy to make a deal for a new trade route between Gwan Grak and our nearby market at Aska Sel Udam. So, we are gonna uh, release these guys as an independent state. We make them a vessel, we make a friend, all of bonuses, we give them development on this monument. And we also are gonna push up the uh, center of trade in Aska Sel Udan. All right. Lovely. And you guys have fucking cores everywhere here. I assume. He no, <laughs> for a second I thought like you had cores on all of this. But you definitely need more of this territory. So there is, a, there is another war uh, in the future with these guys. What does this do? Construction, yearly prestige. Well, we'll see. We'll see what this one leads us to. Yeah, you guys just having fun over there. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the next foundation again. And this all is now tied to my trade income. <laughs> 30.6 is not bad. It's getting closer, it's getting closer. Alright, but at this point manpower needs to grow again before we do anything else. Please just give me the fucking foundations and the capital. <laughs> All right, let's build that. So this is cheaper. Why not? That doesn't hurt. Oh, you already have it. Cool. Okay, all of these guys leave the coalition. 
I guess I could give you now uh, the... Yeah, I guess I'll give you the, dev uh, the development now. To 25. Oh, we're already at 25. And for you, I'm gonna wait for this to be finished. <coughs> well, but one thing that we will always do... The capital needs more development. Uh, let's do this, why not? I know that it's technically, once again, the point where I shouldn't. Oh, we have another one. Okay, lovely. So, we now have uh, Prukakin. And uh, you guys. Is this your, your ally to Bavari? This is your capital. You only have one province. Bavari, of course, would join that. Bavari is... Bavari is something that I just need to keep at bay. Luckily enough. Who are you and who are you allied to? Well, you're now allied to these guys. We still need more stuff from you. But technically we don't have even like the conquest here. <laughs> I like how everything is just... <laughs> Hang City, I see that none needs Hang City. Courthouse, State House, Temple, Mark. Okay. It's this one first. Uh, okay, that's technically. Yeah, you need a lot more development before we can make this decision. Uh, there's another one of these. We'll take that. But then we're, of course, gonna take more manpower. Sure. After a lot of them has. Uh, Spread their wings. Fairly far in our direction. Okay. So. Can we help the, the, the thingy now? Okay. Would cost 2,500 anyway. You're not really tolerating any of these guys, which is, uh, well, questionable. There we go, another roost completed. We are not currently in roost. No, we technically we are. We just don't have anything left. This is the point where I start uh, building a fort everywhere. <laughs> I guess we could turn these desert elves into uh, something funny. This complete area is going to be uh, roosted up, let me tell you. Oh, God damn it. Iron, sounds like a roost to me. Wool, sounds like a roost to me. <laughs> I mean, there's desert in between. Like, not everything here is going to turn into roost, obviously. But everything that's cool. Everything that we have the opportunity on. So. Once again, I'm not really doing any conquests. Is that bad? We technically only have one target. Or Bovari. Trugakin, are you willing to... Uh, look at how many dudes you have. You're not... This is gonna be one of those, once again, silly wars. Because we're just gonna do a conquest war and wait for war score to take up. I would say. Right? Fucking is a very yeah. What fuck off? Bai Hong Xin, Kapta Delaney. I mean Bai Hong Xin is rather uh, large. But it's gonna probably be a case of uh of waiting, probably. I could wait for this uh, uh forts to finish up so that we have protections on these sites. <laughs> Everything but the capital is getting built up. <laughs> Everything but the capital. Very lovely. We have third rank great power at the moment. Actually, we are not doing too bad at all. 
So, let's see where this goes. And then we do something. Uh, admin, we are gonna invest into this stuff again. Do I focus on Diplo now is the question. I don't think I want to. Even though we are currently con uh, uh, conquest-wise not really... That's ah, screwed. <laughs> I need to trade. Well, oh, we're so close! Oh, we're fucking close. Uh, you know what? This might push us over the edge. <laughs> exactly! Let's f- no, wait. Trade income is at least 33%. Uh, game? <laughs> uh... Is there anything else that you no don't want me- oh, whatever. Cool. Th there we go. As commerce rather than raiding has become the source of wealth in Mulan, a faction of wealthy harpies has arisen. Adopting values from the merchants they encounter, these so-called merchant matriarchs have used their fortunes and connections to purchase political power. Many are related to this observation of norms and have coalesced, coalesced into a social fa a second faction, hoping to protect harpy institutions and the birthright of Mula, Swift Sparrow's descendants. Okay, we're gonna read through this and then we're gonna... Uh, uh, we'll see about that. Since the early days of Sian Dan Lin, the followers of the descendants of Mula, Swift Sparrow, have been guided by her vision. Mula and the nation that had beat bears her very name, rose from the science and soared aloft on her philosophy to outstretch its wings and now spans from west to east. No harpy could possibly have a comparable legacy to Mula, until now. Born of a lowborn harpy and a Rohe merchant, a harpy daughter would take up her father's trade and be enriched with the expanding political and economic sphere of Mula. Given the name Talent Queen by her Gangadeni, Gangadeni family, Telara Telarani did not wait for the ponderous advance of Mulan's diplomats and traveled far to make her own trade partners throughout her lives. She returned to the nation of her mother and, and claimed for herself the surname Golden Peacock. For in all her spectacular ad on ad adornments, the most bedazzling were peacock feathers, inlaid and expanded with gold leaf that were woven into her own plumage. All the harpies in Mulan had found themselves possessed of ever-increasing wealth and were beginning to form a cooperative power block. Teladani Golden, Pe Golden Peacock seized this nascent organization for herself, charming most, convincing many, and killing the rest. With Teladani and at their head, these merchant matriarchs began to spread their influence throughout Muleni, commerce, and society, all sporting newly acquired peacock feathers of their own. Many harpies of, not st of no standing flocked to them. Seeking to em emulate, emulate their success, Teladani's above all, and each of these peacocks wore one feather themselves to express this aspiration. Many took notice of this rising force and were not enthralled. As Teladani and her allies frequently challenged and the authority of the Queen of Mulan, a reaction reactionary current arose com comprising of those loyal to the Queen and the legacy of Mulan Swift Sparrow, that she embodied. The crime, the peacocks and the merchant matriarchs as defaming the nation's philosophy of understanding to promote a philosophy of base avarice. The ranks of these sparrows swelled with incensed nobles, administrators and traditionalists. Though buoyed by the support of the sparrows, the line of Mula found itself unable to stamp out the creeping reach of the merchant matriarchs and their peacocks. The recent death of Teladani, by a certain uncertain means, has sparked a new age of internal discord in Mulan, as the peacocks and the sparrows fight for political and cultural dominance. Merchant matriarchs, tier 6. We have the peacocks and sparrows mechanics, which replaces... Oh, the aristocratic court. Okay. Uh, there we go. Global trade power and diplomatic relation or sparrows in power. Okay, we're probably going to get like a lot of events coming around. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here. So like always, like subscribe and again. So I guess see you guys next episode. Bye.